Hi, this is Josh. I'm a registered pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Today, I had to talk to you about the use for cephalexin 500 milligram and the side effects associated with this. Uh, there will be a summary of this information at PharmacistTips.com slash cephalexin. First off, what is cephalexin? Well, it's what's called a cephalosporin antibiotic. Essentially, what it does is it prevents bacteria from properly forming cell walls and in a sense, the bacteria, you can just think of them as they explode. They can't form properly. Uh, in the U.S., it's sold under the brand name Keflex. So what's it used for? It's used for infections, and just it's used for respiratory infections, ear infections, skin infections, bone and urinary tract infections, prostate infections, and it can be used to prevent heart infections. Now, just because you have a respiratory infection doesn't mean that cephalexin is the right antibiotic for it. Your provider will have a good idea of what bacteria are causing infections in your area. And oftentimes they will do cultures to see if those bacteria are susceptible to medications like cephalexin. So although these types of infections are listed here, it doesn't mean that cephalexin will work for all ear infections or all skin infections. So that's something uh, you and your doctor can decide. The dosage varies, uh, you know, the, the doctor will determine the type of infection that you have and then come up with a dosage. Generally, we say it dosed at 500 milligrams two to three times a day. Sometimes they'll do the 250 milligrams four times a day just because uh, the level in the body is better with the more frequent dosing. Uh, some infections like cellulitis and mastitis can be 500 milligrams four times a day. Um, they use it before dental procedures sometimes to prevent an infection called endocarditis or an infection in the heart. That's 2,000 milligrams, which is usually four capsules, a half hour to an hour before the dental procedure. Doses uh, are often are adjusted lower if you have poor kidney function. Your doctor can help determine that. Side effects as a whole, we generally see cephalexin tolerated really well, but uh, common side effects can include mild rash, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, nausea, headache, and dizziness. Uh, some of the more serious side effects that we don't see as often is uh, serious swelling in the face or throat, and this could this can be very serious, and you'd want to seek medical attention if this is happening. Uh, sometimes you can get a really severe skin rash that would need require medical attention. Uh, antibiotics can sometimes cause intestinal infections uh, called C. diff uh, that can require other antibiotics to treat. It can affect certain blood counts. The doctor can check labs to check for those. Sometimes it can cause issues with the liver. Again, that can be checked uh, with labs. Uh, seizures can occur. And of course, other side effects can occur. But on a whole, we typically see cephalexin tolerated really well. What about cephalexin and alcohol? There is no interaction between cephalexin and alcohol. Now, it probably is best to avoid alcohol if you have an infection. Everything you can do to support your body's immune system, it's probably a good idea. If you're uncertain, of course, be sure to ask your doctor. Uh, thanks for watching my video. I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel if you found this information useful. Remember, always contact your doctor if you have any questions or problems about your medications. And again, I have a summary of this at pharmacisttips.com slash cephalexin. Thank you.